James Mahan is back with another Irish Eye story. Tonight you tackled Little League Baseball, you've done Soul Food and Guns so far. Tonight we're doing Pro Wrestling, and I saw the clip at the beginning of the show. Just a clip. They got right in your face, didn't they? They did. It's, it's very intense. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's impressive what they do out there. It's uh, not something I would do myself on a regular basis. <laughs> but I'm glad I got to see it. Yeah. Uh, but I really, wouldn't, um, I really wouldn't recommend it as a career choice unless you're ready for it. <laughs> we're better off doing this, John. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, tell us about your story then. Well, on advice from those uh, who told me that wrestling in the U.S. would be like nothing you could ever have experienced before. We looked up events, we looked up rings, we tried to find out where we could go to find a place. Some of you may find this a bit odd, um, a little bit insane, maybe even a bit funny, but uh, it's just plain crazy to me. Crazy costumes. And the rest of the devil's rejects rule the roost. <laughs> Body slams. Loud noises! Total wrestling mayhem, not in Atlanta or Nashville, but in Rossville. The people gather three weekends a month to experience this level of crazy fun from all ages. We live out in Chickamauga, we're here. She loves Adam Jacobs, he comes in and wrestles all the time. He'll be in November 2nd, and then she's a little cheerleader. So you'll hear them they'll both cheer on tonight and everything like that. I like the hardcore matches in wrestling because they get you pumped oh, up and they get you all game. excited. I don't know what's going on behind me. A lot of noise, a lot of confusion. People are very happy. They're enjoying themselves. These folks are hurting each other unnecessarily. The plots and characters are all larger than life, and as sports go, it seems as far removed from ancient wrestling as you can get. Baby, Team Temptation is in. It's a push We're up, in. Baby. There you go. Come on. One, two, three. <laughs> I decided to get into the ring to figure out why Southerners truly love the sport. Get a whiff of that! <laughs> that's horrible! It's horrible! That's like, it's just worse than an Irish Spring, that's sick! What? It's horrible! Okay. That's my fragrance! You think you know what that is? I don't think so! I don't care who you are! I don't care who you are! You're lucky! Come on, you're getting close as an independent promotion in the area that replicates something you may see on national cable as there is. Andrew Alexander added this may seem violent to some onlookers but it is a family event. It is a very, you're safe bringing your kids here. If I had children, which I don't, I would bring them here. I would allow them to come. I think anybody uh, should bring their kids here. At the end of the day, it's all about entertainment and the fans feel they truly got their money's worth. They work hard for the crowd and they get pumped, they pump up the crowd. I really don't think this is ever going to be a career option for me. In Rossville, Georgia, James Mahan, WDEF News 12. Wow, they were really getting your face there, James. And it looks like you were trying to tag somebody in almost there, like, come on and help me out there on the ring. I was ring. trying to get our videographer, Ashley Anderson, <laughs> to help me. Ashley, help you out. Ashley, get on the ring and help us out. He didn't help you, did he? No. Uh, but no but he was very supportive um, emotionally and, uh, and that kind of thing. But they, they take it very seriously down there. Yeah, obviously yeah. the crowd was having a great time, you could tell. They're going to have a major event, I think it's November 2nd, they were saying. So they really put a lot of planning into this, a lot of work and effort and energy. And they're regular guys during the week, and then on, the, on weekends, they're, they're something completely different. I can't wait to see what we're going to do to you next. James. It sounds wrong, but I can't wait to see what we're going to do. And you can find James's other Irish Eyes stories. What will we do to him next? Just search for Irish Eyes at WDEF.com, and we're going to be back in just a minute.